what's it like getting uh, some reps at center in the last couple practices? Yeah, it's been it's been fun. You know, it's uh, it's definitely um, a challenge. You know, it's something I've never done before, but. I mean, wherever the coaches want me, I'll go out there and do it, whether it's left guard, right guard, center, tackle, so whatever, whatever's best for the team. Didn't you work at center? I mean, when you were coming out of college, weren't you starting to cross train at center? Um, there was a little bit of an experimentation, you know what I mean? I just, I never put my hand on a ball until the first day I got here. It was more of like a weak thing, hey, we can, let's see if you can snap. Um, but at that time, you know, I was learning the offense. I was learning how to play center, so it was a lot. So they said, hey, just focus on guard for now. And that, see, that was that. This is deeper in the training camp than you got last year. Yeah. yeah I mean, Does that cross your mind? Or no. Did no, you I think that barrier? Or? No, it was the uh, first day of pads last year. It was the first day I heard it. So I didn't. I don't think about that. You know what I mean? I feel like you can't go into the mindset of ever thinking in the past or having that in the back of your mind because you'll play slow. So uh, I'm healthy now and I'm just working on getting better. How are you feeling? How's your knee? It's good. Through? It's good. You know, it's just staying on top of my rehab, the stuff that the the stuff that I've done in the off season to kind of make it right, uh, sticking to my routine. You know, that was the biggest thing this off season is getting into a good routine, um, making sure you know my flexibility is all there, my strength is there, and then just getting in the tubs, all the recovery measures I take. So yeah. Are you wearing you wear a brace in practice? No, 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 no brace, no brace. Because you're not wearing so no brace. At no all? brace. No. Why, why is that? Uh, I just don't like playing with one. You know, I just. We've had to wear braces in practice the last two years, so I'm kind of just done with that. So yeah. there was required. Yeah, on both knees, no yeah. matter what. Yeah, every old lineman had to. But, but you still got hurt in practice, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the last two years, you guys had that uh, offensive line rotation at certain positions, yeah. where got like play a series, play two series, then out a series. Yeah. Dave's was saying the other day that he wants five guys. Yeah. Uh, what do you pref what do you prefer? Like what what's the difference? I guess I mean, you were part of a rotation two yeah. years ago doesn't matter to me, you know what I mean? I mean, Shane getting the game, I'm going to go. You know, Shane, you're not coming out. You know, I'm, I'm going to listen to what the coaches say. It doesn't really, you can't go with the mindset, like I, like I said, you can't go with the mindset of thinking about too many things, especially on a game day like that. You just got to be ready all the time. I just ask because it's always like offensive linemen need to be one, think as one and yeah. be in a unit. And I yeah. think it's easier for five guys to do that. Yeah, me. I, you know, I can't really say whether, whether or not that, you know, has an effect on it. But uh, I mean, my rookie year, I started the year not being a starter, and I had to be ready 24/7 on the sidelines. So, I know, I know, like you know, getting into a groove and stuff. But I've, I feel like I'm at a point now where you know, whenever they need me to go in, I can go in. So. Shane, can you speak about you know playing next to Andrew, who took a step forward, yeah. and, and now you have um, John in there. I know John missed yeah. some of the summer, but he was there in the spring. Yeah. And just what those guys can do, or what they bring to help you with your game. Yeah, you know, Andrew. Obviously, I played with him a lot my rookie year. Uh, last year, it was really fun seeing him take that huge step. And uh, this this training camp so far, he's been playing really well. And it's it's really fun getting to play against him because he's a really smart football player. Not a lot of people talk about that with Andrew. Everyone thinks he's a super athletic, strong guy, but you know he's he's a brainiac. He knows exactly what he's doing, and he can pick up on blitzes. He's always saying, "Hey, Shane, watch this." And I'm like, "Oh, I didn't even see that," you know. And um, it's really cool to see that. And John, obviously, knowing the offense. There's just a sense of uh, calmness with him because he knows everything that's going on. He's like, "Hey, Shane, you know, come here, come here, you know, come, come do this, come a block, all this kind of stuff." So, it's uh, definitely a sense of uh, calming with John in there because he's been playing so long in that system. He wants to really not put to the test by this defense you're going against every day. Is this like you've played yeah. against you know a decent yeah. amount of teams? Is this pretty unique where you have to face day in day out? Yeah, and, you know, I think it's going to make us better. You know, wing spring and everything. Uh, obviously, our D line is we're we're competing. That's a good D line now and. Uh, it's uh, we're seeing the best, you know. Hopefully, it'll prepare us in the future. So. The O line has taken a lot of abuse in the last couple of years. Do you guys have get a feeling that it might change this year, or you may surprise people? Yeah, you know, we don't really, we don't even talk about the past. You know, we know, we obviously we know what's happened. The guys that have been around, we know, we know what it's been like, and we just want to put our best foot forward and go out there and show us, show the people what we can do, show the fans what we can do. And I mean, it starts with work. We're taking it one day at a time, you know, and we're trying to get better every single day. So, yeah. Is Bobby Johnson, does he coach a little differently? Does he ask you guys to do technique differently? Or... Um, some stuff like combos, but it's, it's stuff that we've been working since OTAs. So by now, I think we have a better uh, understanding, a better feel for everything that he's asking us to do. Um, the sets, I guess, are a little more flatter, more aggressive for the guards. Uh, tackles really aren't any different in their past sets, but uh, combo blocks, run blocking, um, footwork's a little bit different than something I've been used to, but obviously I'm enjoying it so far. and. We've had a lot of work on it since OTAs, yeah. Hey, how does uh, Bobby Johnson react to good days versus bad days? Like, what is it like being coached by him? 
I think Bobby, Bobby, what I really like about him is he's a flat line. Like he's not, he's the same person every single day. You're going to get exactly whether it's a good or it's going to be bad. He's going to demand a lot out of you. I don't think uh, we have a bad day. He's like extra hard on us. I think it's the same thing. I really respect that. Okay. Hey, are there other ways off the field that Andrew Thomas is a brainiac? Like, well, how? he's, he's a, what is he, a musician. Yeah. He can play the drums. I think he can play the piano. Uh, I think he's got like a whole studio in his house where he can, you know, go and do his stuff. But uh, have you heard him? No, I've seen. I've heard him sing before. I've heard him sing. He had a video. Uh, I've seen him before. How's but he singing? I think he's good. He's good. When he sang as a rookie, it was, it was really impressive. Yeah. It was really impressive. Because a lot of guys, I can't remember what it was, but uh, a lot of guys, like especially me, when I went up there, I was just like, gosh, like get him off. And Andrew's <laughs> like, wow, like he's got he's got a voice. So yeah, he's definitely he's a musician. So yeah. Tech said the other day that he didn't start the fight, but he finished it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> any comment? No, no, Dex is my boy. I got, I got nothing to say. It's training camp. There's gonna be fights. You know, I, I love Dex. I love Leo. We're boys. I'm literally right in the middle of both of them. So I see Dex and I see Leo. I said, "What's up?" Every morning. It's we're boys. We're teammates. You know, we're we know. I told Dex. I told Dex later the day. I said, "Hey, we're gonna make each other better." He said, "I know." He said, "We gotta keep going." So it's just competitive. In the trenches, we're leaning on each other. We're fighting each other. It's it's gonna happen you know, eventually, especially these hot days. It's gonna happen. It's training camp. Is there an interesting backstory behind that tattoo? Which one? This one? It's like a it's Pacific Northwest there. tattoo. It's like a Pacific Northwest. So this is Mount Adams in Yakima, Washington, right outside of Yakima. So there's nothing really significant about it. I just, I, my stories, my tattoos really don't have any like stories to them. I just I mean, like it's just a huge bear. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to add on to it more too. So I kind of want to make it like a Pacific Northwest with like a salmon and a river and stuff. But yeah.